Hey, I would greatly appreciate it if you could support me on ebay.com. Simply go to ebay.com in the search bar, type in Latrice Limited, click on shops, and then support me. I have a wide variety of items on there. I have my own personal Latrice Limited items, such as lingerie robes. I have teddies. I have candles, bath bombs, soaps, essential oil blends, pain and sleep. I even have comic books, men's ties, a whole bunch of stuff. Definitely support me. And now let's get into this video. So I was on the Reddits today. And I came across a story and I'm gonna go and read it and get my thoughts and opinions on it as we go along, okay? So it says, I, a male, 32 years old, was sexually assaulted last night by a female. How do I proceed with charges? Last night around 12 a.m., I picked up a rider from a bar. She got helped to the car by one of the bouncers. The ride was about seven minutes, normal everyday stuff, so no biggie. As we were riding, the passenger started to rub my arm and neck and I tell her to stop, but she keeps on. I didn't need to report her for this or go to the police because it's a busy night in my city and I would have lost out on a lot of money stopping to deal with it. So I kept driving. Once I got her home, I start to record on my phone because now it's free to do so since I don't have to view the map. I tell her it's time to get out. She leans into the front seat and kisses me and I'm trying to pull back, but she has me in like a headlock for five seconds. I can easily overpower this person. I can lightly push her and she will fall over, but the dynamic scared me. Me being a male, black, it can be said I assaulted a woman, white, late at night and my whole life could be ruined. She finally let go of me and I tell her to get out. She doesn't want to get out and is telling me no. So I get out and go around and open the door for her and help her out. At that point, we have conversations while I'm trying to get her out of the way and close the door. And she's being very nasty and rude and incoherent. She forgot some items. I get them for her and send her on her way. As I get in the car to leave, she invites me for sex once again. So being a man and not fear of the situation, I brushed it out last night and did not report it. But today I report it to Lyft and will report it to the police also. Yeah, I didn't feel fear for physical harm from her, but I didn't fear if I made the wrong move, my life could be damaged. And I thought about all the women who have to do this job and possibly have to deal with that from a man. And I felt I had to speak out. How do I proceed? I want to make sure that she gets kicked off the app and I want her in trouble in real life also. So he did give an update. It says update Lyft removed her from the app. I'm going to press charges to heading to the police station and will update. Okay. So here's the thing with this. And this is the reason why I really want to share this is because you have a lot of people who think like, oh, well, he's a man, you know, you should be lucky that I'm flirting with you and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And it's like, um, let's keep it real. <laughs> That's assault. Okay. So if you are giving someone unwanted attention physically, that is considered assault. Okay. That's what that is. So you're over here kissing him and you're saying, oh, well, can I have sex and can I do this? And everyone, you know, you have some people who say, oh, well, come on, man, just get over it. I mean, come on, come on. I'm sure she was pretty. And so how would you feel if you have a chick, let's say it's me and then some burly man. So let's, let's change the dynamics. Okay. He said that she was like a scrawny white girl. He's, you could say a burly, uh, black male. Okay. So let's say it's me. I'm not scrawny by far, but let's say it's me and you got some burly dude, right? And then he's coming. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Oh, come on. And then trying to kiss and do all this other stuff that everyone will be like, oh my God, sexual assault. So why is it that when it happens to a male, it's like, oh, you need to get over it. That's the problem. Both sexes can get it. All right. It's not exclusive to one. Now, yes. Do we have some facts? Yes. Okay. But at the end of the day, both can experience assault and it is what it is. Now, I do like that he said, I, I can imagine if I was a female and, you know, going through this kind of stuff with the dude, then because you have that power dynamic, like he said, I could easily push her off, but I don't want to because racial things and because I'm a man and all that other stuff. But here's the thing, a dude can easily overpower me 
You know what I mean? So it's like, okay, what if that happened to me? Everyone be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's crazy, it's crazy. And of course you have the nutcases that say, oh, well, what, what were you wearing? I was wearing complete, I was wearing uh, loose jeans and a very loose baggy shirt. Man, you should have wear, you should have been wearing a baggier shirt and looser jeans. <laughs> you know, you always have those kind of crazy things that happen. But that's the thing and i don't excuse you oh well i was drunk and you know i just wanted to kiss him no that no then you don't need to be drinking if you act like that you know what i mean because that sounds like someone who simply is unable to handle their liquor so something like that you should not be doing and if you got a bouncer having to pull you out and you know put you in a car you were way way too drunk yo and maybe you should have just came with your home girl or your homeboy or whatever so that they can make sure that you got home safely because that that's a hot mess some people are saying like yo you probably should have just canceled the ride and not even let her in the vehicle that probably could have been a good one but then the only problem with that is like this when you tell people don't drink and drive there's always a safe way to get home whether it's taxi lyft or uber but if every uber slash lyft driver or whatever is saying nah forget you um you can't you can't come in here then that will drive people to drink and drive get my point um so i do like what he did it was like okay this is unacceptable we're not playing this we ain't doing this so i am gonna go and call the cops on you and as it should be you know um i don't think that just because you're a chick that now for some reason you just because you're a chick now for some reason uh the same rules don't apply to you okay if if a dude is saying yo i mean you're pretty but i don't i that doesn't mean i want to be with you like you could see many people where it's like oh yeah that oh he fine mm -mm -mm. does that mean that you're gonna go and cheat on your boyfriend because the guy's cute no so just because someone's attractive that doesn't mean that you now go and assault them because they're cute to you that's ridiculous so i'm very happy that he was able to call the cops get a remove from the app because hey you know there's just a, a certain way to do things a certain way not to do things if you know that you're getting sloppy drunk like that you need to have your you need to have somebody who knows you okay because if you're going to be acting like that you know trying to seduce some man and have sex with you and you touching on him you're kissing on him that's not cool man